and welcome back. Um, remember me? <laughs> yes, I am still here. I promise I have not left. Um, we have been in the midst of some uh, overhauls to our house, cleaning out, moving spaces, so I have actually moved where I am filming into now our office. And number one, if it sounds hollow or like a weird echo thing going on. Um, it's the room that I'm in. Um, it doesn't have the best insulation so it tends to sound a little hollow so as we get some more furniture in here and I get some things on the walls I'm hoping that that will sort of go away somewhat. So I apologize if you hear that. Um, I'm going to be playing with having the door closed and door open while I'm filming to see if that makes a difference. Number two, I know this is really dark. Um, I have to fix, um, replace the overhead uh, light fixture to something much better. Um, but I'm working with what I have right now. I wanted to get something out there for you guys. So yeah, that's kind of like why this is like this because we're not 100% set up here in the office. but set up enough that I can start filming. I've got some pictures that will go up here in the background soon, so I'm excited for that. Um, so today what we're going to talk about is kind of the first in an ongoing series of my Holy Grail cruelty-free drugstore favorites. Um, this is our items that I repurchase all the time. I absolutely love, I buy them in multiples. You will see that soon when I start showing you things. Um, and also, as a side note, anything that I show you as of the time that I am filming is um, considered cruelty-free in the sense that it is not tested on animals. It may have a parent company that has a different testing um, philosophy, I guess you could say, um, and if that is something that you tend to steer clear of, then that's your choice, and that's totally fine, um, but I don't um, penalize a company for what their parent company may do, um, as long as they maintain their um, philosophy and standards of not testing on animals, then that's fine. Not everything that I use is vegan, um, so if that's something that you choose to um, prefer or like buy over other things, then just keep that in mind. You may want to do some extra in-depth research of what I'm going to be showing you, but these are my favorites. Trying to buy cruelty-free can make your head spin, trying to navigate through what really is cruelty-free. So if it's something that you've thought about or that you're trying to do, just do what feels best. Just be an informed consumer as to what is in the products and the company's testing philosophies and um, go from there. That's really all you can do. So here we go. <laughs> I've got my basket of goodies for y'all. Um, so first up is my favorite body wash. This is from OGX or Organics. Um, you kind of a lot see. of companies do coconut and lime. I'm anti coconut lime. I hate the way that smells. I'm a coconut purist. I love coconut. It is like my favorite scent in the whole world. So this is my favorite. It leaves my skin feeling so nice. Um, it doesn't feel tight. It doesn't feel like uncomfortable coming out of the um, shower. This is a, a sulfate free um, body wash so it doesn't have a high lather which is really good because sulfates are so hard on your skin and your hair. Just That's what causes everything to dry out. So um, definitely give this a try. This is like 13 fluid ounces and I think I got it for around eight or nine dollars so it's not too bad. Um, and you can find this at most drugstores now, a lot of them are carrying the extended line um, up there, so love this stuff. Um, next up is a body lotion. This is from J.R. Watkins Apothecary. Um, this is the Lemon Cream Body Wash, and all the, out of all of their fragrances, scents, whatever, this one is my favorite. There, This comes the closest to, like, uh, scratching the rind of an orange or just cutting open a front an orange a lemon hello I'm tired <laughs> cutting open a 
lemon and just like that fresh lemon smell like I've never smelled anything that that uh, smelled so much like the real thing as this lotion and it's a great lotion too I love it for year-round a lot of people like this for more for summer because of the scent I use it all the time I only have like this much left that's in the neck and then once I finish my other big lotion I will definitely be repurchasing this but I am using it sparingly because I will be so sad when it's gone um, but yes this is paraben free phthalate free whatever that word is um, propylene glycol free and dye free and I think last year they or sometime this year they got their um, official certifications from like PETA or Leaping Bunny or something like that. Um, but I totally love this stuff. Um, I know. Let's see. Um, Rite Aid carries it. I think. Who else? Um, Target is starting to carry more of their line. You just have to check your um, drug stores for it. It's one of those things where it's a little bit, um, it's not quite as, uh, out there, I guess. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to say? Um, it's not as like popular or, or widely carried, but definitely if you can get your hands on it, give this stuff a try. Absolutely love and adore it. Next is my favorite, um, dry shampoo that is from Batiste absolutely love this I have tried the other like drugstore cruelty free brands did not like any of them I have tried some of the higher end stuff from salons and from Sephora my hair loves this this loves my hair it works the best of course I found the tropical coconut scent love it um I don't like the ones that are tinted the blonde red or brunette um, I used the brunette when I was a brunette and I found that after a while um, there was like a residue, a brown residue that was starting to rub off like on my pillowcase and sometimes on my clothes or like I'd scratch my head and I'd look and like my fingers would be brown. Um, so it definitely leaves like a tinted residue on things. Also you have to be careful with the blonde one because it is tinted more yellow so if you're like more of a warm golden tone blonde then it would probably work but if you're like a white platinum or um, cool tone ashy blonde that one will leave like yellow residue on your hair but this is hands down my absolute favorite dry shampoo Mom, they always do anyways real life right um next is my favorite um it's not really a true like foundation like makeup primer but it is a skin perfecter you find it this in the skincare aisle in the drugstores um, this one um, it's the generic version I got it from Rite Aid it is the generic version of L'Oreal's Revitalift Miracle Blur from Rite Aid it is called the Renewal Miracle Illusion Instant Skin Smoother Finishing Cream um, it looks like this um, I think even from CVS it has a very kind of similar look to it. This is the one that has the SPF 30 in it. I prefer the oil free version. It does not have SPF in it and the texture is a little bit less, um, it just has a, like a little bit different texture to it. Not like hugely different but enough that if you tend to be a little bit oily oilier you will like that one better this one isn't bad it's just not oil free and I just kind of like that one a little bit better um, just as a side note Walgreens does test their house brand on animals so you want to stay away from anything Walgreens if buying cruelty free is a concern for you um, but CVS also carries this I just tend to buy it from Rite Aid because between Rite Aid and CVS it tends to be a couple dollars cheaper um, from Rite Aid. It's around the $20 range. Um, I think it might be a dollar or two more at CVS for the generic. The L'Oreal stuff is like 25 bucks plus for the tube. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, the oil-free version can be a little elusive, a little hard to track down. It's like your unicorn item. 
but if you can find it, it I think it's just a little bit better than this one. So again, this is the drugstore generic version of the L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur. Um, I learned about this from an article that Dita Von Teese did. This is like her holy grail product. It was like a makeup changer for her. And I do notice that my makeup is just so much like smoother and flawless looking when I use this. Um, in comparison to any other primer. I don't notice that necessarily extends the life of my makeup, but it definitely makes it look amazing on the skin. So give it a try. If it's a lot of times they put their generic stuff on sale. So just kind of keep an eye out and maybe grab it when it's on sale sometime. Um, so next we're going to head into a couple of makeup items. Um, my favorite blushes are the e.l.f blushes um, from their studio line. Um, I have three of the singles and I have the two uh, quad blushes um, that have the four colors in it. The light medium and the medium dark. I can't find them right now. I don't know what happened to them. They're in my room somewhere. But I have Pink Passion which is a matte super bright pink um, I have Mellow Mauve, which is kind of like a satiny, I don't know how well the coloring, the lighting is going to be on this, but it's kind of like a, a satin finish, um, kind of like, well, it's mauve. <laughs> it's mauve. Um, but just kind of more like a natural satiny mauve, really pretty. And then I also have Twinkle Pink. This is a super shimmery pink, slightly coral pink. Absolutely love it. Um, it looks very glittery in the pan, but when you put it on, it doesn't look like chunky glittery. And then the, the formula of the new one that is the four, the quad of blushes, the studio blushes, um, it's pretty much on spot on to the singles. These um, retail for $3 and the quad retails for $4. So it's a great, great savings. Um, Elf Online has an even bigger selection of um, blush shades than in the store, but I've got, I think, two or three more of the singles to pick up and then I have all the ones that they sell in the store. So absolutely fantastic. Favorite lip liner goes to the e.l.f. retract, or not e.l.f., the NYX retractable lip liner. Um, I only have one still, I don't know why, um, but these are my absolute favorite drugstore liners. The pigmentation is amazing, the wear is amazing on these, and um, I just like the way they go on better than even their pencil. So these are the ones that sort of retract up like this. I have the color, I have the shade um, dark red I think is, yeah, dark red. And I feel like this is a really great red that you can kind of pair with any red shade and it will go with the darker reds and your kind of brighter um, blue tone retro reds. It's sort of, you can kind of like deepen up and do that sort of ombre-ish thing going on. Um, so just really, really great lip pencils for the price. Um, Next, I have two drugstore lipsticks that are my favorites out of everything in the drugstore. And I know it can be really hard to find quality drugstore makeup. Um, but my one of my two favorite lipsticks come from Milani. Whoops, dropping stuff all over the place. Um, but the Milani lipsticks, love them. I have quite, this is uh, in older packaging, but this is what the new packaging looks like. I don't even think, is this all of them officially? This may be all of them. I have lots of like dark reds and bright corally hot pinks. Um, these come in different finishes. There is a cream finish, a shimmer, a vinyl, which is a very shiny, um, but not shimmery. Uh, finish and then matte and then they also have a matte line. They retail around six dollars depending on where you get them and if they're on sale and they've got an amazing amazing shade range. Definitely check them out plus they smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers so can't go wrong there. Um, and then last but not least are my top number one favorite drugstore lipsticks. You either love them or you hate them, but I love them and I have some hacks to get around maybe if you have consistency issues with them. Um, but these are the 
Wet n Wild. Yeah, I've got all these. <laughs> um, they're the Wet n Wild. I think these are $2.99. These are the $2.99 lipsticks. It's like the four hour long wear lipsticks. These are generally kind of more of like a matte finish because they are long wear. So if you have issues with the consistency, if you feel like they're too dry, I just put a little bit of lip balm on first. Lip balm. Did I say that right? I feel like I said lip balm. Lip balm on first. Um, and then put these on and they glide right over and they still stay put. Um, my favorite color is cherry picking. I feel like that is sort of like the perfect in between um, red, pink and red. Um, but I have, woo, I have stoplight red. I don't know how well you can see these, I'm sorry. Um, I've got Think Pink. This is a really great, like, if you want to do like a 60s kind of nude pink. Think Pink is fabulous for that. Um, if I have better lighting, I'll be swatching sometime for these. Um, I have Cherry Bomb, super, super deep, kind of purpley plum color. Um, I have a couple of, they were limited edition matte colors, so I don't think you can get these ones anymore, so I'm not going to go over the colors on those ones. Um, I have Just Peachy, which is a this. Or is it this one that I use for? I think I use both of these as a combo for like a 60s nude pink. Um, but they look amazing. Then I have Dollhouse Pink, which is supposed to be a pretty good dupe for um, Kat Von D's Bambi. I have Mauve out of here which is just a really nice, like, mauve purpley mauve pink color, kind of mid-tone. Works really great. I didn't know if it was going to work on me, but I actually like it. And then this is Sugar Plum Fairy, which again is another, like, deep, um, plummy color. So, yeah, there you go. I've still got more to buy. Cherry picking, I think, is upstairs in my purse. Um, but that is all of my favorites for right now for drugstore, um, cruelty free items. This is definitely like as I sort of find my holy grails and these are my holy grails. This isn't just like favorites, like these are things that I buy multiples of. I buy them over and over as I run out. Um, these are things like I cannot live without, um, so yeah, as I find more, I will do more videos um, in this genre. Um, but I wanted to do drugstore because I know it can be really hard to find like quality drugstore, cruelty-free um, products or just stuff that is kind of worth the money. Um, we have a plethora of natural food stores, natural product stores here in Santa Cruz. And I just find that even sometimes like those that stuff can be really pricey in comparison to kind of traditional drugstore items. Um, and I don't always like it. Like I've had stuff that I've had really bad reactions to. So just because it's natural or organic um, or like free of like chemicals does not always mean that it's going to like go really well for you. So these are some great like drugstore pretty much readily available no matter where you are products. Um, so yeah, so that's it. I hope you are all doing really, really well. Um, I'm hoping to actually do two videos next week. The kiddos are going to be gone visiting my parents, so that will free up some of my time. They are on winter break. We are en sort of ending our first of three weeks of winter break. That's right. They get off for three weeks. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to get um, myself on track. Um, and that's about it. I guess I've been rambling on for over 20 minutes now. So thank you if you stuck in there with me and I will see you all next time. Bye.